What's up guys? So today, today's video, you're gonna see the first turkey of 2021. And I'm doing this video before the video because I'm probably gonna cut some of the other video out because if I'm watching a hunting show, I don't wanna watch 20 minutes of just working a turkey. I wanna get to the good stuff. So I'm gonna explain, especially for if you're new to turkey hunting, this will help you out. I'm gonna explain kind of what happened. Out here checking some cameras. A good little food plot situation. Got the protein feeder over there. Stand, got a persimmon tree I planted there. Long time ago. Anyway, I got my hunting car here. Sneaky, sneaky. I just pulled them all wet because it's been raining. I had to climb a tree and uh, pull this camera out of it. I had on the gate. I can catch all these people stopping, trying to call turkeys out of my fields over there by the road. Get this guy in case I see something worth killing. I don't have to run it down. Anyways, back to the video. Um, so this turkey, I had another turkey that I was going to go after, and, uh, as soon as I, I was just like a pipeline, crosses the county road where I was parking at, and one was a good ways on one side, and then as soon as I got out of the truck, I heard one on the opposite side of where I was planning on going. And I drew, a, I drew a pin a while ago on line distance on Onyx, and it said it was like 1,150 yards or something. Surprised I even heard him. But uh, I said, well, we'll just go for that one, and even if he messes up or we kill him, we can still go for the other one. So we went for this one, gobbling like crazy on the tree. He done got, got down by the time I got to him. And... Uh, he was all fired up, set up the decoy. And you'll see, he didn't even see the decoy. He saw me before he saw the decoy right before I shot him. But uh, anyway, he was all fired up. So I, uh, usually when they're fired up, you can read it. You know, you can kind of read the turkey and tell what he wants. So I was pretty aggressive with my calling. He was all fired up and he hung up. And uh, he got hung up, so Ended up having to go quiet on him. So I'll show you. I got a collar in my pocket. It tastes bad. But I just did some. <laughs> Little soft noises like that. I just started scratching the ground. And Pretty much ignoring him, just letting him know I was still there. But uh, he couldn't stand it after a minute. He came on in. He had to check it out. And that little that little noise. I'm just saying, whip, whip, whip. With my mouth calling like that. That little noise has killed me more turkeys than any cluck, purr, or anything. And. Uh, not saying I'm a professional turkey hunter, but I have killed a lot of turkeys. I lived in the woods for a long time. I was homeschooled, I didn't go to school. I've been out here all my life. And, uh, I've spooked more turkeys than I'll ever kill. Well, no, I'm working on that, but I've spooked so many turkeys. And that's where you learn turkey hunting. That's how you learn is for messing up. That's how you get good at it. But if you're a beginner in turkey hunting, maybe I can help you. Anyway, what else? You'll see in the video. I just did this because I'm I'm uh, gonna cut some of the video out because it was so long. But you'll see. I freaking I was nervous. He saw me as soon as he come out. He didn't see the decoys. 
Uh, I shot him and then I had to shoot him two more times. Shot off one of his foot, half of his beard. He had a big old beard on him. Shot half of it off. But you'll see. All right. Enjoy.
two, three, four moves ahead of, of your opponent. That's what we did. We made the right move today. I'm trying to be quiet because I know there's still turkeys everywhere. I do like this decoy. That's a pretty decoy. You can't tell the difference. Uh, let's get back to the house and get ready. We're going. Oklahoma in about three hours. See you later. Turkey so far. Now all those videos are coming up. I got big I'm a big deer hunter. I got a new lease in southeast Oklahoma that butts up to National Forest. So we're gonna be got some pictures of some huge like Boone and Crockett bears. Probably like five hundred pounds. We're gonna be after those October first and some big deer up there i've been trying to pattern from last year about a i guess maybe a 185 190 inch deer on public land hopefully gonna get that done on videos coming october uh i got a 150 class i've been trying to figure out here on this farm my grandpa's place here by the house uh last year um i know he made it but He's a tough one to figure out and I'm trying to figure him out. I don't know what he's gonna do this year, but hopefully we can get him figured out and get a video of that. Uh, we'll be catfishing, bow fishing all summer, frog gigging. I'm gonna try to do videos, all that. I'm gonna try to get into this YouTube stuff. So subscribe and I uh, hope you enjoy. Maybe uh, if you're a new turkey hunter, I'll tell you something that'll help you out. And if you ever got a question, comment it. Holler at me. I love helping uh love helping out uh, new hunters. So appreciate it. Subscribe.